Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and today I have an unboxing video for you. Today I want to share the new Mini Blossom die cutting machine which has been released by Ulta New in December 2017 and this is the cutest little machine. I um, was actually in the market for a small die cutting machine and I haven't read very good reviews on them so far so I was really excited to see that Ulta New are actually putting out their own die cutting machine and look at this isn't it gorgeous <laughs> it's got Ulta new flowers drawn on it it's so pretty anyway so it's fairly heavy I didn't I was a bit um, surprised it's actually heavier than I thought and it does have these sort of suction cup or these rubber feet on it that stop it from moving about too much on the surface but I do find I did find that I do have to hold it as I'm die cutting through it the plates are, there's two plates, there's a thicker and a thinner one and they're not actually a bad size, it's nearly the size of my hand and I have big hands <laughs> and they'd be perfect for a lot of sentiments um, and flowers which Ulta New are renowned for so I was thinking that's actually a really handy size, obviously you can't do things like cutting using cover plate dies and things like that. So what I thought I'd do today is actually stamp out an image and die cut it in my new die cutting machine. So this is also part of the same release and it's called Ninja Invasion. How cool <laughs> is this Ninja? And there's a few different ones in the set and they're, they're not actually a layering stamp and more like um, you piece it together and create an image. So it's a new stamp so I did decide to use my Misty because I wanted the black to be really bold and I thought that way I could re-stamp over the image successfully. <laughs> so the second piece that I'm layering on now is a the face and hands and I'm using the Sand Dunes ink which is a really pale um, brown colour or a neutral colour so I thought that would be perfect for a skin tone. And I didn't line it up very well, so I did have to stamp it again, which didn't matter. It's uh, actually quite a forgiving stamp. And it doesn't hurt to add a second layer of ink anyway. The final step was to do the band of the outfit, and I thought a hot pink or pinkalicious would be nice. <laughs> All right, now it's time to do my die cutting. I have um, the coordinating die for this ninja and just going to hold it in place with some, uh, this is just some painter's tape. I just like to do that when I'm die cutting so I know that the die isn't going to shift and I don't have to restamp my image. It's just that little security blanket there. And then I can just sandwich this between my two plates. I did decide to use the um, the thicker place as plate as my base plate and I've faced the die with the cutting side down. And of course I'm right handed and I want <laughs> and I want to roll it through uh, with my right hand. There's not a lot of resistance. I wasn't sure. It doesn't make a lot of cracking sounds like my big shot does and I wasn't really sure how it was going to go but it did. It cut perfectly. So what I've found that I'm doing at the moment is leaving this little die cutting machine in front of me on my workspace and if I've just got something small to cut out it means I don't have to sort of twist around or get up and use my big machine and so far I'm pretty happy. Anyway here's the little ninja and the finished card that I did make with this ninja. Head over to my blog as there's giveaways if you're here in December 2017. Look forward to seeing you there. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.